السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو یو ایس سی ایف پی شارٹ ویڈیو سیریز آن جی آر ای کورس دیز ویڈیوز ول ہیلپ یو پریپیئر فار دا جی آر ایگزام وچ از اسینشیل ٹو گریجویٹ لیول ایڈمیشن ان موسٹ یونیورسٹیز ان دا یو ایس اینڈ فار دا فل برائٹ ٹرپ پروگرام فل برائٹ اسکالرشپ پروگرام دس سیشن ول بی فار جی آر ای کوانٹیٹیو دس از ویڈیو نمبر نائن ان دا سیریز So in this lecture, we would cover the multiple choice questions. So first step for multiple choice is that always start with option number C if you have to start substituting. Why option number C? Because the options are in an ascending or a descending order. So option number C is always in the middle of it. So if the average Uh, mean of these four numbers is 10. What is the value of W? So let's suppose it is 18. So if the value of W is 18, so if we take the average of 5 plus 6 plus 7 and 18. If you take the average of these four numbers, so uh, 11 plus 7 is 18, 18 plus 18 is 36, so average comes out to be 9. And what we are looking for is 10. So we know that we need to substitute something which is bigger than 18. So this automatically crosses out. these three options and if we substitute instead of 18 22 this comes out to be 10 so option number d is correct so always start with option number c then eliminate the absurd choices and guess so if you are really unsure the first thing is that you need to eliminate as many choices as possible the first choice that you eliminate is is the option that is very obvious that option which looks as if it is the right answer even without solving the question that option is most likely wrong because it's a trap answer so the answer and by looking at it you find that the answer must be positive but some choices are negative so negative choices go out then by looking at the answer you feel you think that the answer must be even but the choices are given to be odd then in a question it looks that the answer is less than 100 but it is more so those you can eliminate in a ratio question if the ratio must be less than 1 and it is more then you can eliminate those so eliminate the obvious choices first that they are there that they they are obvious because even without solving you are getting to the answer those options are mostly wrong and then eliminate choices which are too big or too small another question 25% of 260 equals 65% of a so 25% 25% of 260 equals 6.5% of a So one way is that you solve this question um, uh, completely. The other way is that you look at it that 25% of 260 is 6.5% of A. So this number A has to be larger than 260. so the only option here which is here is this 
ऑप्शन नंबर ई सो बाय चेकिंग दिस थिंग सो इफ यू यूज अ कैलकुलेटर जस्ट टू डबल चेक व्हाट वी हैव जस्ट डन सो ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स टू सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाय सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सो इट कम्स आउट टू बी थाउजेंड बट इवन विदाउट डूइंग दिस कैलकुलेशन we were able to tell that this number has to be greater than 260 the only option was e next question in a certain club the number of boys to girl ratio is 5 ratio 3 so by boys to girls ratio is 5 over 3 what percent of member of the clubs are girls so we need to find what is the percentage of girls to the club members so what so the so the total so number of girls is less than the number of boys so if the if it were equal if the number of girls and the boys was equal then the person the correct answer would have been 50% so the girls are 50% of the total population however the girls are lesser in the total population so the only answer which is less than 50% is 37.5% next question from 1980 to 1990 lior's weight increased by 25% his weight increase if his weight was k kilograms in 1990 what was it in in 1980 so lior's weight was um, had increased so in 1980 it was lesser than it was now so the only answers which are lesser than k are these two answers so we have to choose between both of these answers so an obvious answer of these two is looking out to be this option however let us check so um increased by so in 1990 it was k and let's say in um in year um 1980 let's say it was x so it increased by it says 25% so 1 1.25 of x equals k so if we rearrange this so x equals k into sorry this is um so this is uh 100 over 125 so this comes out to be 5 uh, 4 0 10 5 4 0 25 5 so this is 0.80k so this is the correct option so i hope this session proved to be useful for you please remember to check out other videos in the series thank you all take care